Hi everyone, this is Chris Peter Francis, a solutions architect for AWS based out of Austin, Texas. I work on building generative AI solutions for the utilities and energy space. Today we're going to talk about how to use generative AI to help build more robust predictive maintenance systems. We'll cover what the problems are in traditional systems and we'll lead right into a demo of using stable diffusion to assist vision-based predictive maintenance models such as Amazon Lookout for Vision. So in today's productions and operations, defect detection is of the utmost importance to improve efficiency and safety in operations. Relying on humans is just not a viable solution with the growing number of assets that are tracked across the field. With this in mind, leveraging technology, specifically computer vision, is imperative to tackling this problem. However, there is simply not enough data to train computer vision models to pick up defects as these images and inputs do not exist. For example, if you've just installed a pipeline, you do not have images of this pipeline with rust or other defects that may have happened due to weathering. This is where generative AI comes in. Although many are familiar with large language models such as Anthropic Cloud, another subset of generative AI is image generation models such as Stable Diffusion. Diffusion models provide cutting edge image quality and can be used to create these synthetic images. So the process we use is called image to image, where we take an image of an existing pipeline and add a prompt like you would with a traditional text to image example and get a response with the original image with the prompt applied. So we're going to do a short demo of that in action. In this demo, we're going to be using stable diffusion and be passing in an image of a pipeline with no significant damage. So I'll pan over here. I've gone ahead and uploaded this image of a pipeline. You can see that there's no significant damage currently. It's not weathered. But I went ahead and applied this prompt, rust on pipeline, weathered, corrosion across surface. So I went ahead and created an image from you and we'll scroll down to see what that looks like. You can see that the pipeline has now had rust applied to it at the bottom here and at the bottom right. You can see rust across the surface area and we'll go ahead and scroll up here and click generate again. So at this point in time, it's generating a new example where we will be able to generate hundreds if not thousands of examples to train our computer vision model data set on. And this is significantly cheaper than having to artificially create these images. So you can see that the image was created, there's now different defects, you can see blobs of rust forming across this pipeline here, and of course, the rust in the top uh, bottom right, along with rust forming along the pipeline. So this is just one example of different ways we can use image to image pipelines to create synthetic images. Thank you for watching this short demo where we were able to demonstrate the ability of augmenting computer vision models with synthetic images. I encourage you to check out the resources in the description to get you started with using generative AI tools on AWS. Thank you again. My name is Chris, and I hope to see you again.